Jordana Brewster American Actress Jordana Brewster is an American actress. She made her acting debut in an episode of All My Children in 1995 and next took on the recurring role as Nikki Munson in As the World Turns, garnering a nomination for Outstanding Teen Performer at the 1997 Soap Opera Digest Award. Born, 1980, age 44 years, Panama City, Panama. Spouse, Mason Morfitt, M. 2022, Andrew Form, M. 2007, to 2021. Education, Yale University, 2003, Convent of the Sacred Heart, Professional Children's School, Berkeley College. Height, 5 foot 7. Parents, Maria Joao, Alden Brewster. Raven-haired beauty Jordana Brewster was born on April 26, 1980, in Panama City, Panama. Her mother, Maria Joel Lille de Souza, is a Brazilian-born model who appeared on the cover of Sports Illustrated in 1978. Her father, Alden Brewster, is an American-born investment banker who has English, Scottish, and Irish ancestry. Her paternal grandfather, Mayflower descendant Kingman Brewster, Jr., was president of Yale University from 1963 to 1977. Jordana was raised in London, England up until the age of six. At this time, her family decided to move back to her mother's native Rio de Janeiro. Here, they would stay for the next four years. Jordana learned to speak fluent Portuguese during her four-year stay in Rio de Janeiro. At the age of 10, Jordana's family decided to move again, only this time they would relocate to Manhattan. It was here where Jordana studied at Sacred Heart, an all-girl Catholic school, before moving on to the New York Professional Children's School. It was in her teens that Jordana began to make a name for herself by appearing in two of daytime television's longest-running soap operas, All My Children, 1970, and in 1996 As the World Turns, 1956, where she played the role of Nikki Munson for three years. Jordana also went on to co-star in the NBC miniseries The Sixties, 1999. The year 1998 marked her big-screen debut as Delilah Prophet in the teen-driven film, The Faculty, 1998. However, it was her role as Mia Toretto in the blockbuster hit The Fast and the Furious, 2001, that led her to reach Hollywood stardom. Despite her success, Jordana continued to attend Yale University, in the class of 2003. She played the lead in the prequel The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Beginning, 2006, and reprised her role, Mia, in the sequels Fast and Furious, 2009, Fast Five, 2011, Fast and Furious Six, 2013, and Furious Seven, 2015. Brewster was married to producer Andrew Form in 2007, and they have two sons. Family Spouses Garrison Mason Morfitt, September 3, 2022 Present Andrew Form, May 6, 2007, to June 29, 2021, divorced, two children. Children Julian Brewster Form Rowan Brewster Form Parents Alden Brewster Maria Joao Relatives Isabella Brewster, sibling Trademarks Long dark hair Trivia didn't have a driver's license when she received driving lessons for The Fast and the Furious, 2001. She speaks fluent Portuguese. Graduated from Yale University in New Haven, Connecticut in 2003, with a Bachelor of Arts degree in English. Has two sons with her now ex-husband Andrew Form via a gestational surrogate, Julian Brewster Form, B. September 10, 2013, and Rowan Brewster Form, B. June 9, 2016. Family, her father, Alden Brewster, is an American-born investment banker, and has English, Scottish, and Irish ancestry, he is a descendant of Mayflower passenger William Brewster. Her paternal grandfather was Kingman Brewster, Jr., former president of Yale University, and an ambassador to Great Britain. Her mother, Maria Joao, is a former Sports Illustrated swimsuit model from Brazil. Jordana has a younger sister, Isabella Brewster. Good friends with Elijah Wood. May 6, 2007, married her boyfriend of two years, Andrew Form, following a six-month-long engagement. 
Jordana Brewster and Paget Brewster are descended from Pilgrim William Brewster's sons Love, Paget, and Jonathan, Jordana. Paget is William's nine times great granddaughter, and Jordana is his ten times great granddaughter. They are tenth cousins once removed. The Brewsters have a coat of arms. Both of them are also descended from Mayflower passenger, Frances Cook, has a cat named Delilah, after her movie character in The Faculty, 1998. Spent early years of her childhood in London. Her sister, Isabella Brewster, is a casting director and is engaged to NBA veteran Baron Davis as of September 2013. July 8, 2020, has filed for divorce from her husband of 13 years and her form. Has two Labradors, a yellow one named Ella and a white one named Hendry. Ranked number 9 on Maxim Magazine's Hot 100 list of 2009. Ranked number 8 on the FTRLN.com Hot 100 list of June 2007. Ranked number 59 on Maxim Magazine's Hot 100 list of 2006. Ranked number 54 on Maxim Magazine's Hot 100 list of 2005. Ranked number 96 on Stuff Magazine's 102 Sexiest Women in the World list of 2002. Ranked number 22 on the FTRLN.com Hot 100 list of 2008. Ranked number 52 on Maxim's Hot 100 of 2014 list. Born on the same date as Channing Tatum. In September 2021, Brewster has been announced her engagement to businessman Mason Morfitt. Quotes. When I signed for As the World Turns, 1956, in 1996, a three-year stint beginning when she was 15, I had to promise my mom that it wouldn't hurt my grades and my dad that I would go to college. Acting kept me out of trouble. I had to go to CBS at 7 a.m., so I didn't have any time to fool around. You're at home, your parents are watching, what you're doing, your friends are probably a little narrow-minded, or it's clicky and kids are really mean to each other. So. As soon as you have that independence, you can just explore who you are. I went to an all-girls school, and then I started working, when I was 15, so I'm not very socially apt, when it comes to dating. I just can't imagine dating a 20-year-old boy. I feel like directing is an innate talent. I think escapism is really important. On her engagement, it wasn't a total surprise, but it was very spontaneous. It's going to be a pretty small destination wedding, next November. Oscar night is a ridiculous night where you go to these parties and you see everyone that you've ever wanted to work with and admire. People spend so much time in their cars, and it's a legal way to have fun by speeding a little bit or testing yourself a little bit, and you get to invest in your car. For some people, it becomes their baby. Women always want to be what they're not. If you're the pretty girl, you want to be the quirky girl. If you're the smart girl, you want to be the pretty girl. I think that unless you grew up in New York or Chicago or Los Angeles, you're sheltered. I will not go on a blind date. Well, I was lucky in that my being an actress totally overshadowed my having some kind of a legacy at Yale, so that was kind of great. I already have a production company called J Squared and we're working on to projects. I work out with a trainer five days a week. I'd love to be a Bond girl. I mean, if you're going to be stereotyped, there are worse things to be stereotyped as. When I do my own makeup, I keep things pretty simple. Also, when you think about a show that you used to watch as a kid or as a teenager, you look at it through sort of rose-colored glasses, when you remember it. I miss the anonymity that comes with New York because everyone around you is so immersed in their own journey. You need the audience to become invested in the characters, and in order to become invested, they need to identify with the characters. And that's why the characters need to be real. My dream car would be a Maserati. That would be amazing. The ocean is 20 minutes away. Nature surrounds me 24 sevenths. I wake up to the sounds of birds chirping. I also love that I can go out to dinner in jeans and flip-flops. When I was really young, my sister and I would create different characters with our Barbie dolls. I'd be the crazy diva Barbie, and she'd be the homeless Barbie. I moved to New York, when I was 10, from Rio de Janeiro. So there was no need for driving. I took the subway, cabs and the bus. I meditate, which I really like. Just 20 minutes twice a day and that really helps. Parking is a nightmare for me. I still have sensors on my car that help me park. At school, I basically wear one pair of jeans and sneakers for months on end. Even now that I'm married and 28, my room still intact the way it was when I went to high school. I had to take driving lessons in New York, which were really weird because it's not the safest thing in the world. What I love about New York is that everyone is in their own world. It's the opposite of Ella. There, 
Everyone is looking outside of themselves to see who's next to them. What's great about New York is that you get to be anonymous. I like having a routine, because everything else is so unpredictable. I like action more than anything touchy-feely. I once owned a really, really ugly pair of white leather boots. They were so bad. It was back in the 80s. It was just a really tacky fashion choice, when I was in middle school, and I thought it was cool. I'm really embarrassed. I think the play on words for punky Brewster has definitely played itself out. I love working out, but I need my brain to be someplace else as my body does the work. There was one day when I just didn't feel like I could do weight training after my cardio, so I didn't. You do have to know when to stop, or you can hurt yourself. I'm saying my rosary every day. It's really fun working with Clayne Crawford because Clayne's really good. He's just really fun to observe because there's so much going on in his eyes. So as a therapist, it's really fun to hone in and watch. Stating that her biggest health regret is smoking cigarettes for a couple of years, that was dumb. I quit in college, years and years ago. I think when you're younger, you think you're invincible.